Look at what he's wearing. That's not fair because I was wearing this first. <laughs> no. It's perfect. It's not perfect. You look so red in the camera. You don't look red in real life. Like seriously. You too? Everybody's wearing navy blue stripes. No, this is not okay. We have to change it. We've been Koala Bear Facts. We dropped the baby off and we're free. Koala Bear Facts. We're not we don't Ryan hear about that. It's toxic. You're <laughs> talking it's so sexy. First of all, koala bears are not actually bears. Ooh. Second of all, they are only pregnant for about one month because they're marsupials. Marsupials! Thirdly, they sleep between 16 and 20 hours a day. That is a freaking life. That's you want to be pregnant for one month? <laughs> <laughs> That's the life. We just dropped Scarlet off and immediately went nuts. Stop, 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 Scarlet off. I can't speak and you are whistling with everything you say. So together, we're a perfect pair. Trader Joe's first stop. Okay, Here TJ's. we go. TJ's. Sneak peek at the list. Look, it's all Christmassy. A lot of your ideas are in here. Best thing about Trader Joe's is there's always coffee and food in the back for free to try. This is how they roll. I'm not getting these for Louise, but they are so good if you like dark chocolate and sea salt. They are so delicious. The caramel inside, because I'm not really big on caramel or caramel, it tastes like a brown sugary, buttery, ugh, it doesn't taste like regular caramel. Look at all these treats. Roasted pistachios, dark chocolate covered roasted pistachios, English toffee. Yeah. I've tried that. I didn't like it. I know. It doesn't sound good to me. Dark chocolate covered edamame. Good. Coconut bonbon, minty marshmallows, candy cane truffles, brittle, more toffee, chocolate covered crisps. Yep. Candy cane cool. It's only $1.99 and it's peppermint. Lumps of crunchy minty chocolate delight for those who've been naughty. Hmm. Blink. First thing I'm getting her is something for being bad. Haha. <laughs> find their jelly beans. They have like jelly bellies, their own version here. It's fine. Here they are. Gourmet jelly beans. 18 natural flavors. Ooh, with fruit and vegetable sources. I have a feeling she's not gonna like these as much as jelly bellies, but we'll try them. Do you think they do chocolate coins over there? I bet they do. This is what kids from in Hanukkah get. Oh, really? Coins. Yeah. I didn't know. I love these. They're one of my favorite chocolates, and Louise says she doesn't have them over there, but I think they're actually made. Yeah, European chocolate what? made with quality ingredients. They have to have that over there. Go find one of these. I'm not going to buy it for you and ship it over and be expensive, but they're so good. Just milk chocolate on a butter biscuit. Yummy. Product of Germany and new things. Okay, well, Germany's closer to you than it is to me, so I bet you she has seen them and just doesn't remember. I asked her about them, and she was like, I don't know what that is. Did your grandma always have a bottle of Orangina in the cupboard? My grandma, no. I thought that was a grandma thing. Did your grandma always have a bottle of Orangina, this stuff? My grandma always did. I thought it was grandma soda. Trader Joe's has a tradition where they have a stuffed animal and if the kids find the stuffed animal, then they can go over to the snack area where I got the coffee and they can get stickers and cookies and things like that. So the kids always come in and have to try and find the unicorn. Want lightly salted crunchy green beans? No? Okay. Dumps in the batter. See, they think they're funny. This blank walks into a bar. A strawberry walked into a bar. Funny, funny stuff. I remember somebody said we should get her Trader Joe's cookie butter. Is it refrigerated? Can it be refrigerated? I don't think so. It starts out in a in a jar. She can refrigerate it after she opens. You wanna get it? Yeah, let's go. It might be too heavy, but this way, let's go this way. We'll try. I've never had it, so Louise, you'll have to tell me how it is. And if you like it, once I've sent it all the way over there, I'll come back here and get some. Here we go. Do you see it? Sunflower butter. Almond butter. Which almond is delicious. butter. Strawberry jam. Hmm. Different types of honey. This stuff's delicious. I'm gonna get her one of these. 
when you make like hot chocolate or something, shake it on there. I got one for Crystal too. This is delicious. It's sugar chocolate coffee bean grinder. And so you can grind these on top of your yummy drinks or cookies or brownies or anything like that. Cupcakes, boom in. I use that to make my favorite hot chocolate. There it is, cookie butter. Ryan, grab one. Cocoa almond butter. How much is it? Three sixty-nine. Do you think it's going to add a lot of weight to the box? It's pretty heavy. Is it? Let me feel it. Specifically, eleven ounces. Oh man, I think that's too heavy. It's in a glass jar too. Sorry, Louise. We're putting the cookie butter back. That's really heavy. Bananas. So there's the candy cane JoJo's, which are delicious. The cream on the inside is candy cane flavored. But then there's these ones that are basically like death by chocolate in a box. They're pretty crazy. But I think I'm gonna go with the traditional ones. These ones are dipped in dark chocolate and then covered in candy cane. But these don't have the dark chocolate on them. Boots? Get it yourself. <laughs> ever bring up things that happened in past relationships with you or past like I had a guy that was slightly interested in me just barely slightly interested and he um what was he a rapper or a DJ or something but he said that his rhymes were like cotton candy on a stick so now whenever Ryan hears bad music he goes oh man that is cotton candy on a stick no but he also talked about how he wrote his rhymes he came up with his lyrics in his sleep <laughs> and he called them sleep rhymes dream Dream, dream beats, rap, dream, dream beats. beats, or something like that. And his dream beats are like cotton candy on a stick. That guy was awesome. Threw up in my mouth a little bit. You want the dish swagger? Yeah, you were. My friend, my friend watching me hold a camera, arms linked out in front of myself. So Junior mints. Oh, they're the only ones not on sale though. White Reese's. White chocolate Reese's? Mm, she does like white chocolate. Speaking of which, she wants um, this white chocolate Kit Kat. Do you guys have that over there? She wants those cookies and cream Hershey's things. Are Pez big over there? Americans love Pez. Peach rings, honey. Somebody said peach rings. That's a good idea. Do you see them? Right here. Okay, that's a good idea. Yep. The store brand looks better. They're softer and have more sugar on them. These ones are kind of hard. And there's not as many in there, feel it. Okay. But maybe she won't like them. I mean, this is the brand. I get, okay, get the brand ones, because that'll be cheaper to send okay. either. But those are like soft and sugary -er. Okay. We're thinking of getting some pancake mix, which one of you suggested. Ryan has an idea about pancake mix. But I think it might be way too heavy. But I really want to send it, because she loves IHOP International House of Pancakes, so. I want to send it. Those people behind me looking at me. <laughs> hmm, I've lost my husband. Where'd he go? He ran off going, I know what to get for pancake mix, and then disappeared. Hmm. Found him. What is it? It's kind of like a ghetto version, but you just pour water in it, shake it up, pour it out. How heavy is it? It's 10.6 ounces. Let me feel it. Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah. Have some pancakes. Doink! You gotta know that that's not the best kind, but it's, it'll, be, it'll be good. Yeah. Okay, so we're filming in public, and this is what I look like. Ryan, hold the camera. I look like a crazy person, because you have to hold it this high, otherwise you get my chin, which I'm sure you've seen that. But, yeah, they think so. So first, you can be impressed by how many different types of pancake mix we actually have. There's buttermilk and honey, macadamia nut, apple cinnamon, Swedish pancakes, oatmeal pancakes, shake and pour pancakes, buttermilk, blueberry, original, hungry jacks. There's these ones that's so American, have a bear on it to make it seem dangerous and call them flapjacks. But then you can be more impressed with how many types of syrup we can put on our pancakes. <laughs> It's all syrup, boysenberry and blackberry and strawberry and sugar-free and carries. But that's delicious and real maple, and log cabin and whoa, 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 whoa. The real stuff's expensive. The real though. stuff's expensive. Check this out. Twenty bucks for that for jug. This. 
Ryan loves real maple syrup, so sometimes I put some in his Christmas stocking. She ain't got no pancake mix. You ain't got no pancake mix. Here's another question for you. If you do have children and you go out and about without them, do you say things that your kids say when they're not around? <laughs> we do. Yeah. When we came into the store, we saw the little mechanical toy that you can ride on outside, and Scarlett always goes, nay, nay, hussy, hussy. <laughs> so when we passed it, Ryan said that. Yeah. <laughs> is this a whole display of the candy she likes on sale? I think it is. Yay. Oh, no, it's symphony bars. Oh, no, there they are. Cookies and cream. Cool. Let's get one that's not broken and see if it lasts to being not broken by the time it makes it over there. Yay. They're on sale? What does it say? Three for four dollars. Is there anything else? Oh, dairy milk. Haha. <laughs> I bet she's sending me some of that. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, no, total delicacy. We can't get it anywhere. Goldfish crackers, goldfish crackers. Should we get a little tub or should we go buy the individual packets? Hmm. Oh, look, they even come in rainbow. We need a York peppermint patty. Here they are. Buy two, get one free. Okay, well, should I just get her the one? Because I don't think she's going to like it because it's got dark chocolate. Hmm. Yeah. No, buy two, get one free. That means they're not really on sale. I guess I... I don't know. <laughs> Pressure. I should mix them and match them, Ryan. Do you think that they have Rolos over there? I guess. Ryan says your Milky Ways are different from our Milky Ways. Yeah. So. But you know what? They're going to think theirs are better. We're going to think ours are better well, because we just grew up trying them. Let's okay. settle the argument. All right. Someone suggested Pepperidge Farm cookies, which I think is a great idea. Um, these are really gourmet specialty cookies over here. They will take up some space, but I think they're worth it. So what should we go for? We're giving her a lot of mint stuff. I don't know if I want to do mint there again. Should we do... There's the orange ones, double chocolate. These ones have melty, minty cream. Hmm. I'll surprise you. You see when it gets to her what I chose. Don't you think that would be more expensive to ship? We have to get Nutter Butters, of course. We're trying to decide which size and shape of Nutter Butter will be easiest to ship in the box. Oh, you want to get her those ones? 25 ounce, a lot smaller. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than she did. We know she loves them. I want to get her the size that she can actually enjoy for a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just thought you're for shipping, like we're trying to. Okay, let me think about it. Let me think about it. Mm, mm. Maybe that. Mm, mm. I want this one. Okay. Corn nuts. She asked for these, and it was really funny because she had to explain them to me. She was like, "They are tiny, crunchy bits of corn, but not like the kind that you bite off of the cob, and they're like." hard and flavorful and I had no idea. I was like, candy corn? I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, but I finally got back to it. Are you sure? Yep, positive. Uh, Alright. Chili picante, ew. Yep. Be huh? adventurous. Okay. Just strolling along through an American grocer mart market mark store. Mark market or store. Sure. Words. Words are hard. Stroll with us, won't you? Here, we'll go through the cosmetics department since she's all about cosmetics. Or I suppose I will, by myself. Okay. So when you're at a regular grocery store, they're relatively small sections, but there's Revlon. And once again, I'm being looked at like I'm crazy and <laughs> talking to myself and showing signs. Revlon, Prestige isn't really a brand. Um, there's Physicians Formula. Ew. Fresh Minerals, Neutrogena, Alme. And this is kind of a big department store. So, it wraps around. There's OPI. Look, Louise, here's those thingies. Are they easy for you to get now? I think they are. Those were the ones you were wearing before, weren't they? Ooh. Crazy. What you want, boy? Sometimes America is not cool. Yoga dogs. <laughs> Look at his little arm. Okay, so... Okay, I have no, let me see. Oh, <laughs> look at that one. Really, this is something that's marketed and sellable? Cool. Maybelline, CoverGirl. Oh. But you can't try any of it on here. They don't have samples, but you can return it after you open it, which is pretty crazy. I don't think you guys can do that over there, can you? Let's go find Ryan again. Look, Christmas! I should totally send her a Christmas ornament. Yes, why didn't I think of that before? It'll be a little late, but she can put it on her tree next year. Where are they? Christmas candy! Yes, we will buy some Christmas-related candy. 
That one's going to be a surprise too. You'll have to watch. I'm not in love with any of these ornaments. That little gift one's kind of cute, but just kind of. Hmm. Someday I will have a giant house in which I can decorate the whole thing for every season. I will change out my seasonal cookie jars and my seasonal teapots. Someday. Ryan always whistles for me in a store like I'm a dog or something. That's how else am I supposed to get your attention if I don't know where Do you're it. Here, make the sound. That's what I hear around corners whenever we get separated in the stores. Do UKers and people abroad build gingerbread houses like we do? That's a big part of the Christmas season. We do a lot of specialty Christmas stuff, like Elf on a Shelf. Do you guys know what that is? Look it up if you don't know. It's very cute. It's a cute tradition to do with kids. It's about a mischievous elf that comes and watches you around the Christmas season to make sure you're good. Okay, candy candy. Who's so loud? Goodness. Okay, store number one, pajama hunt. Look, they still have Halloween costumes. Cute. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. You'd think after all this time I'd be better about not shaking, but I don't have steady cam on my flip. It's a little cheapo camera. Okay, let's find pajamas. Oh, goodness. I don't want anything neon, and I'd like something that she can wear kind of through the winter and spring. If you remember, we said we're gonna get the girls matching gifts, so um, we decided we'd get them matching pajamas. So it's just something fun to have for them both to have overseas. These are cute little Christmas jammies, but I don't wanna get our Christmas-related ones because she's gonna need to wear them after Christmas. There's elephants with elephant pants. They're kinda cute. I want something special. Where's the extra special section? I think that store number one for pajamas is kind of a dud. We'll have to see at the next store. You just missed my wife straightening out her gussets. Not my gussets, they're my leggings. I'm all <laughs> fixed now. Everything's in order. <laughs> so Ryan has a thing for old lady clothes. By old lady, I mean like middle age. I don't know why, but whenever he picks something up, he's like, this is nice. No, it's not nice until we retire, retire and have to like narrow down to a condo age. Ryan, look. I know what I've you're saying without <laughs> hearing you say it. You're going to say that I, my dream is to have you in an old lady dress. Like, yeah, that's the kind of stuff you pick out for me. Okay. They don't really have any dresses right here, here right now that I would like you in. They're all gone. Yeah, I noticed that. Because they're so popular that they Wait, isn't off. this the kind of style that you go for with me? No. All I remember is there's just way crazy patterns all the time. Louise, you were right. She told me Aztec print was coming over here, and she was right. It is, it is. Slightly. Definitely influenced. We forgot Jelly Bellies, where are they? Jelly Bellies, here we go. Citrus mix and original flavors. I think original flavors. Okay, cool. Wow, they're expensive, $4. Oh, Store number two, done. Look, my scarf matches, my leggings match, my socks match, my boots. It makes me happy. See? You see? In the ghetto. I'm going to the ghetto for you, Louise. He says we need to get something that I don't even know what it is, but he's determined. He wants to stop at three separate stores to try and find it. So we'll see. You, you can only get it in the ghetto, ghetto. Apparently this mission is so dangerous he won't let me out of the car. She has to stay in the car. Yeah. I don't want you to run in that place. Anymore. It's getting dark out. We're, we've been traveling for quite a while, you guys. This is quite the adventure. Are you guys getting dizzy with all the like products I'm showing you? I'm so sorry if you are. I'm trying my best. This is the kind of place where if I don't buy something and walk out, they'll think that I stole something. <laughs> yeah, I need to take my glasses off. I look a little bit too well manicured. <laughs> This, place. this is dangerous. <laughs> Do you want to like carry a shank or something? I can fashion you something really quick. Ryan just went into the store that apparently may be his last venture in life. He seriously gave me a talking to before he got out of the car. He's like, I don't even want you to film in this parking lot. I've seen stuff go down here. I don't even want you to film. But we're tucked away. Who knew that American 
treats would be so hazardous. Here he comes, here he comes. He's gonna yell at me for filming. Here he comes. Empty-handed, obviously I didn't have it. I didn't have it. How'd you do? Get out of here. <laughs> They're called wrap snacks. It's a brand of potato chips that has famous wrappers on them like Ludacris and Master P and <laughs> just all thugged out dudes with big grills and stuff and I don't know it's they're good <laughs> and that represents America now we're at Barnes and Noble in the kids department and I'm going to look for our favorite kids book to send to Darcy because she's not familiar with Grover and that's unacceptable. <clears throat> Louise, you have to read this book to her in the Grover voice so you're going to have to educate yourself on that. There's the Sesame Street section and there it is. I think I'll get one for Phoenix and Lily too. People always ask me and this is my favorite children's author. I love Sandra Boynton books. <laughs> Look at the Christmas trees. I kind of want a Christmas tree, but I don't need it. We're having dinner courtesy of Christina, who sent me a sweet little care package. Here's our food. Mm. I got a steak salad and broccoli and cheese soup and then an acai berry tea. And Ryan, what'd you get? Uh, an Italian combo. Christina Marie talks about you all the time, you and Ren, and she really adores you too. So thank you again. Yeah, delicious. Thank you, Christina. It was so good. As Scarlett would say, it was delish. I'm proud of that. Who said yes? Those straw wrapped feather things must line up against that light, and it will then remind people. But this is a good place to dine and have cool food and whatever. We're done having dinner at Panera, which to me reminds me of Nando's. Europeans are always eating at Nando's, right? And Canadians always eat at Tim Hortons. Well, I always eat at Panera, sort of. I did today and it was delicious and it is a chain, so that works. Let's go to Old Navy. Hello. These guys are in the Old Navy commercials. Ooh, a little creepy. Hey there, fella. Ryan has that shirt. In fact, I really like that most of the mannequins look like Ryan's figure. So I can just look at what they look like there and say, yeah, that's, that's how it'll look like on my husband. And every once in a while, it doesn't hurt to just, you know, give him a nice, ooh, there's abs under there. That's cute, I would wear that. Yep, I'm seeing the Aztec influence that you were talking about. Oh, we could do matching jammy pants for us. Do you think there's room in the box for me to do that? These are all Christmas themed though. Except for those ones. Oh, I don't think I have enough money left. That would be a good idea. Let's do that next year, okay? Let's do some for us too. These ones are kind of cute. They've got little sheep with coffee mugs or hot cocoa mugs or something. I kind of like this. I'm not supposed to be shopping for myself, but it's so soft. I like it. I suck. Uh oh. <laughs> Ryan didn't come into Old Navy with me, and now I found something for myself. And he's not here to tell me I can't get it. And I could just switch this out and wear it. I wonder if he'd even notice. That's what we'll do. Let's go buy it. I'll put this on and we'll see if Ryan even notices. This is the sweater I was wearing before. It's like gray and white, thicker stripes. And this is cream and white and it has a totally different top. We're gonna do that. Okay, here's the sweater I was wearing before. So they're similar but different. The other one has that big like cowl neck V and it's different colors and it's an entirely different length. So we'll see, I'm gonna be sneaky. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Bag because of all the stuff I have. 
Where's my light? Give me love. Oh, yeah. Not well. Not. Yeah, it's worth saying that Ryan went to go check at World Market to see if they had Smarties because they had every other cultural, worldly candy possible, but Smarties aren't good enough for us, so they didn't make it there. I still want to have some in mind when I find some Smarties that I want to do. So. I think that's good. Boom roasted! Okay, Ryan's going to wait here, and you and I are going to go into <gasps> Pier 1 Imports. They have beautiful things here. I would furnish my house with this stuff if I could. Let me see if they have a special um, Christmas ornament that I like. Let's go. He totally hasn't noticed. <laughs> Look, it's Christmas. Yeah. They definitely have the market honed in on the glittery things. What is this? You're a penguin. You're a giant tin penguin. Why? I don't understand. Why are you a giant tin penguin? Just to hang on my door? Okay. That's so cute. But so huge. We've got huge things on the street. Oh, there's Santa on a sleigh. Okay, I definitely think that we need to go glitter for the ornaments. What are you? You're a flying pink elephant. That's kind of cute. Birds and butterflies. Hmm. Everything they have here is just like glitter and sparkles and giant lions and woodland creatures. Whoa, hey there, fellas. I didn't even realize that was there. 20% off all plush stuffed animals. Maybe I should get a little stuffy guy for both the girls and then they can hug the same little animal. Are you cute? You look kinda cute. You don't look that huggable though. Hmm, that's a thinker. That one's gonna be a surprise too if I'm able to make that happen. I'm sitting on the floor in the store because I've been going through all of these. There's some really cute guys, but they're all so big. I mean, that's like the entire size of the bag, but they're so soft. I don't know. I don't know what to do. You'll have to wait until the package goes to see. <laughs> Every year, they get bigger and more extravagant. Go big or go home. Look at the penguin. He's cute. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if I'm gonna break the penguin in the store, then I don't think it's gonna make it all the way to England. Oh, and there's the pickle. Does anybody do the pickle tradition? I think that's a German thing. <laughs> it's getting late, and I don't think I'm gonna do the craft that I wanted to do for Louise's box, because it's just getting too full. We've got too much stuff, so I'll put that on hold and maybe do it for her birthday or something. But we are going to go get the handbags that you guys um, suggested from Bath & Body Works, so we're gonna go do that. And then we're gonna take you on a tour of Sephora, because all of you UKers don't have Sephora yet. It's only a matter of time, but right now you don't have it, so I might buy her a little teeny tiny Sephora treat, um, if there is anything teeny tiny. But just for fun, we're gonna go on a Sephora little adventure. Right, Ryan, you so excited? Oh yeah, what? makeup places. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, what Sephora? Did you, did you know what that was? Makeup. Yeah, cool, thrilling. Thank you. Oh, glittery goodness. There they are, right there. Ryan, this is what we're looking for. We want to test out different scents of these little antibacterial deals for her. Uh-oh, they're coming to get us, to welcome us. Look at this stuff. It's like a bottle of magic. Beautiful. Okay, Ryan's picking some out. We're going through them all and seeing. What's smelling? Pink chiffon, Caribbean escape. That smells kind of nice. Fresh sparkling snow. Sure. Let me, let me try that. It smells like a shower. True. <laughs> what do you think Noel smells like? Sugar cookie and evergreen. <laughs> Matt could wear this one. It smells like fresh clean soap slash man. I'm getting surrounded now. There's barely any room left for me. I did get an ornament at Pier 1, so you'll have to see which one that is. We got our haul at Bath & Body Works, and I got a candle for Ryan and I. 
We got Tis the Season. It's basically just a cranberry smelling candle. Even though they had another candle that was cranberry smelling that wasn't this one. So I don't know. But it smelled good and Ryan picked it out. Five bucks. We're at Target now. I'm going to look for jammies. But I found Sophia Grace and Rosie Land. Look, Louise. Yep. The blue and pink on this is kind of cute. Little pugs wearing sweaters. I like pugs, but Louise isn't really a dog person. She's more cat person. If I was going to buy you any of these snow globes, it would be this one. With the pretty bird and all the snow floating around him. No, 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 no. I can't find anything that's perfect. Those are kind of cute, but... No, no, no. Oh, those are cute for boys. Bummer. I can't whistle, it's good to do. I have a story for you guys. So, when Ryan and I were dating, he wanted me to get out of the mall, and we were shopping, and he was sick of it. So in order to get me out, he actually laid down on the ground in the middle of the mall, holding all of my bags, and it was doing a scene from that movie. What's the name of that movie? I forget what it's called. Yeah, the Tops and Mops. Yeah. What's the name of the movie? Yeah. Look at Santa, standing in front of a car. Is he giving away a car? Something. What is the name of that movie? I Heart Huggy Me. That's what it is. We've been doing lines from it. He's like, Tops and Mops, be the blanket. I don't want to be the blanket. Be the blanket. I bet there's some people out there wondering why you're doing this with me. <laughs> Are you wondering why you're I'm doing this? I'm one of those people too. <laughs> because he's a good guy. <laughs> there it is. The mothership. Oh, he's excited. No. <laughs> makeup, makeup, makeup. How big is it? Holy guacamole. Let's play guess the price. You got a makeup palette here, all eyeshadows, a lot of glitz in them. I think it comes in this thing. What say you? Dun 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 dun! $58, but it's a $155 value. <gasps> what a steal! Good gracious. It never ends. Ryan still hasn't noticed. We've gone, it's been like two hours now, maybe three. I like how they have all the headmaster masters that are have their different hair masters. Oh no, uh, they are headmasters. Yeah. They're good at different things, yeah. specialties. And then you have such a one styling and treatment. It's one one guy. <laughs> two guys are one name. They have one name, there's one title between yeah. them. <laughs> such a one. Okay, now look at me. Now put your left hand up on your ear, like you're brush your hair behind your ear. Put your elbow down a little bit though. No, wait, put your elbow down to here against your side. Yeah, right there. Now put your hand up like this. Yeah. Move your elbow in just a little bit. Okay, now give me like your sexiest kind of how you like. Don't smile. Yeah. Like just meaner, yeah, yeah. Like that. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, that's Liv Tyler? Yes. Oh, it is! Oh, yeah, that's why you were doing that. that. Oh, this there she is. Her line, I get it. Things. I didn't know Liv Tyler had makeup. I knew Kat Von D did. Sam was talking about Kat Von D's foundation being amazing. You should go find it. Here it is. It's $34. That's not as bad as I thought. I know that sounds crazy high, but I thought it would be more expensive than that. I've heard she has good makeup. Is that what you've heard? Yeah. Ryan goes, it seems like she would just tattoo her makeup on her face, which does kind of make sense. She probably does already have some of it. Maybe. I'm not sure. You think? Yeah. I'm gonna swatch it. I've never done that before. I think we'll put it on my fingers first. Whoa, there, lady. Oh, goodness gracious. It does have good coverage, but a little goes a long way, so maybe it is worth the $34. You buy it for me now? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Can you see the patch? I just yeah. painted it on my face. What do I do? Even it out. Make a patch on the other side. Nobody will ever notice. Oh, this stuff has crazy coverage. Sam Sherman reviewed it. Done? <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh, it's like... It's like a light clay, kind of. It doesn't feel... 
thick though. I don't know what to do, we have two more left. I gotta wipe it off, that's what these are for. <laughs> It even covered up my blush. <laughs> okay. That's my kind of palette. I love these colors. And I'm breaking things. Oh my god. Another one checked off the list. And they gave me a free sample of moisturizer. And I got my color match done for Kat Von D foundation. Because that stuff was crazy. So, friends getting frozen yogurt. And right around the corner is the Rainforest Cafe. That's where we're going to have Scarlett's birthday. Has everybody seen the Rainforest Cafe before? While Ryan gets his yogurt, you and I will go visit it. It's a wonderland. Everything moves and they've got elephants and there's, can you see that huge fish tank that's in there? You have to watch, walk through the fish tank to get in. And then the bar, the seats of the bar, let's go look. They're animal butts. <laughs> African rainforests are home to parrots, such as the African gray. There he is. What kind did you get? Got taro root, vanilla, and tart. Yum. Name the quote. Oh my god, it's a tiara. He got me a tiara. It's a princess, and I'm a tiara. And this is my tiara. Something like that. I'm a princess, and this is my tiara. Put it on me. Put it on me. Put it on me. <laughs> Do you guys have fireworks in the UK? They have beautiful stuff. Okay, we went back to Bath and Body Works to get something. If you have seen in the store, then you might know what those are, but they're for the girls. <laughs> so that's the surprise. Okay, we're, done. we're leaving. Yep, we're heading out of the mall. We got lots of goodies. There's more goodies in the car. I'll show you how many bags we have when we get home. Did you have fun? Yep. Are you telling the truth? Yep. <laughs> I don't believe it. You like my outfit? Yep. <laughs> Bye. Time to pick up our baby. Knock knock. Knock knock. Who's here? Who's here? I love you. Hi. I love you. Did you step on something? No, she's just. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Mommy and Daddy, she said. Aww. Come get Daddy. Come get Daddy. <laughs> run, 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 run. No, she's gonna oh. sit on Mommy's lap. You're gonna go. Oh, get Daddy. <laughs>